It's very important that a lot of people don't know and it is not explained in the manual, okay? You can control the radio with a mouse, okay? It's really important. For example, let me turn the volume up so you can hear. Let's say we want to pick up this signal, signal right there, okay? See the tiny signal? Click. And there's a number right next to it. Click on that. Okay, so there it is. Say you want to click on some guy over here. Okay, got something going on there. And then we'll head back down a little bit. Okay, so the cool part about this, which I think is phenomenal, is, as you can see, there's, there's our, <laughs> there is our FT8. And we'll uh, pick up some more regular signals here and get you going on some SSB. So anyway, here's 7132, we'll kind of mix it up. Okay, so essentially the point and click point of this radio is very important. It does not say in the manual, okay, what you need to use to be able to make that work. The best way to do it, I found, is this right here. It is the Logitech 3 Series, okay? 3, the 310, 325, any of those will plug in right there into your USB front port it's wireless so it's going to go ahead and use the mouse and the mouse of course also works on the screen you can click here if you want you can you know do whatever you need to do you go on the on the band itself and click on the frequency that you see that you want to work or whatever but you know it, it, it's not explained how you do it if you want either the d or the mp model make sure you get this mouse it's like 20 bucks it's, uh, in fact, I think I got this on Amazon, um, but you do need that uh, Logitech piece right there, unless you want to go with a wired mouse. I just didn't want to do that. So again, Logitech 310, 325 series, very good and they'll work, okay? So let me give you a little bit of an idea of just how this radio works and how effective it is with things like digital noise reduction and your VC tune, okay? Let's find a signal and we'll get it all taken care of. Pretty weak. It's a pretty weak signal, obviously. Okay, now we're going to try first the VC tune. Both have turned up. Let's watch this needle here. It's gonna tune in the band pass. Here we go. See the new needle come up? Okay, so right there is about the maximum we're gonna get. Now let's turn the DNR on. It actually makes that signal fully readable. You can hear the whole thing. So that's the big advantage of this radio. I've never seen anything like it. Again, this is what it sounded like before. You can barely hear it. You pull that DNR up. It takes a second. And there it is. Now granted, we're looking at a signal that's on the screen of about a three. Okay, right about a three. If we were not to have the VC2 and just have a regular, you know, tuner, we'll turn the VC2 off. Okay, with all the hash and everything, you're right about a five, but there's so much hash. Now we turn this on and watch what happens to the screen for the hash. Look at, it just completely disappears. We tune it back up. And there it goes. And again, you can hear it. That's not really touching anything else on it. So there's one good example, again, using the Logitech 3 Series digital mouse, okay?
come over here. There you go, see? Again, now this is with both DNR on and with the rest of it. Kilo 7, Hotel November. You have to try, right? So this guy is from uh, a foreign country. Gives you a good idea of how it comes in. Oh, New Hampshire, sorry, not fourth country. <laughs> So there's Matt in New Hampshire. We'll see if he can copy him or he can copy us. I should say that's the best way to put it. Again, one of the powers of the FTDX 101 MP is it does have 200 watts and you do have the opportunity to control that if you need to. Right here. You can control it on the screen right here. And then the multi knob then becomes your power output, okay? So we'll knock it down to about 150 watts and we'll see what he does with 150 once he has a break in it. Now, again, some of the things I found, a lot of things I still need to learn. I think you'd have this radio for probably three or four years and still be learning so much about it. It's just got so many complex features. It really does. And to be able to learn to use them effectively together, because I'm a DXer, I like to hear that far off station. It is one of those radios you get that you just, you know, learn so much from. And, and, and that's the whole point, having fun and learning. And this rig is totally set for that. So it's coming off of an AV680 vertical antenna that mounted about 30 feet. So let's take it a listen. And again, VC tune, listen to how it works. So it goes down. Comes back up. He's out. And look at that. Look at the meter come right up to a nine. See nothing there. We pull the VC tune in. Right about nine now. You see two adjusted to this outer ring right here. That outer ring also is for your sub VFO, but that's pretty much how it works right there. And it is phenomenal to see it work. One of the things that's nice about this radio is it's all set up for a screen. What's it, whatever screen screens you really want, you can put on this radio. Uh, this is hooked up currently to a 27 inch LCD. However, you can put it up to a 50 inch television. I've seen some do that. So it's a very interesting radio and very well built for the future as well. So that's one of the things I really do like about it very much. Although it's kind of weird they used a very old design Logitech mouse to be able to control it. That's kind of weird. Now look at how good this is at picking up weak, weak signals, okay? You can see how big his con his signal is. Well, let's take a look here at this signal right here. That's a small signal. Let's listen to it. Sorry for the camera. This would be virtually unlistenable. 
to turn off the DNR, turn off the VCT. There it is, same signal. VCT kick in, breaks it down, DNR. That's the magic of this radio right there. That's what it does. Just amazing. And some sort of carrier in there. Really nice. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we'll see if we can get a call into them and see if they can hear us and hopefully we can. So we'll be at 150 watts. Let's try and see how everything goes. Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November. Quite weak, he said. Let's see if we're weak now when we bump it to 200 watts. Morning. Is this a little stronger for you, buddy? Well, you know, sometimes a three is better than a one, right? Well, I was glad, uh, glad I could make it all the way coast to coast, man. You know, it works good your way, but the other way, as you know, doesn't work as well at Gray Line. Still doing good, man. Doing the daily YouTube show, trying to encourage folks. Uh, my gosh, uh, today, my God, it's going to be uh, show 47. No joke. I've uh, done 47 shows now on YouTube daily, except for Sundays, to encourage people and give them something to do. And yeah, the show's growing. I couldn't believe it. It's actually growing, and we're, we've been very blessed. So uh, on show number 50, we're going to do something special, I think. Have a cake and play some Christmas music, I think. Understood, buddy. Understood. Well, thought I'd uh, say hello to you all were there. I could hear you. And, uh, you know, I think the world of all y'all. So God bless you guys. I'll be on the side. Yeah.